Okay, now, we're going to look at some pictures first. Before we grade your quizzes, we're going to look at the answer sheets. All right. Notice the leg player. Notice her hips have turned pretty good. You see how her hips are around pretty good? She's just hit them. Okay, so that's good. Now, these here are a little bit more than that in that the hips are all the way around completely and the ball's sitting on the ground. You see how the hips have turned all the way? Okay, but they haven't hit it yet. Okay, that's what hits the ball long. There's your long part, right there. Okay. The best one I ever saw do that, execute the movement. Remember Michelle Wee, the girl from Hawaii? Yeah. This is when she was 13. She was hitting the ball further than most of the men on the men's tour. 80% of the men couldn't hit him as far as she did. She was 300 plus off the tee every time. Not at the end. The two pictures we're going to study are over on the far left. This is when she was going to take over women's golf. And then I'm going to show you what they did to her. Over on the far left pictures, notice when she sets up first how wide her feet are. You see it? And then under it, notice that her hips are all the way around. Look where the club is. Yeah. Notice how wide the feet are, and then notice her hips are all the way around. She didn't hit it yet, and the club's way behind her. She thinks her clubs are too long for her. They are. But no, she's not going to grip it at the end anymore. We're going to make them fit. Yeah. <laughs> She'll, she'll have a little left on it so that when the ball's away from her, down the slope, she can make the club longer. Oh, the two on the far left. On the far left, notice first how wide the feet are. And then under it, notice the hips are all the way around. Look where the club is. Okay? You know what they did to her? She was about to take over the women. She was going to be Tiger Woods of the women. Yeah. So they brought a golf expert in to get her to the next level. Right. Yeah. She went right in the tank. Brought lead better in. You know what they did to her? They'll do it to you too. Right? They do this to all his, his golf schools up in Bradenton and everything, Sarasota, wherever it is. And you'll find these drills. All kind of golf gurus teaching people do this on the online. You'll see all these YouTube videos of teaching people to hit them. They put their feet together. And they're having people hitting balls with their feet together. And when the feet are together, the lower body now is in cement. The only thing you can hit it with is your arms. That's right, no good. <laughs> now, of all the physical movements that we need to learn, the most important of all the physical movements are what we do from the hips to the feet. It's the lower body movements in the back swing, not the down swing, the back swing. Here's what we don't want. When we take the club back in the back swing, we don't want the right knee and the right hip to start to move laterally. You with me? This is killing the down swing. The right knee will hold and the right hip will turn, creating pressure on the inside of the right leg. You see it? The best one I ever saw with that, and they used to make fun of this guy. They'd tell, they'd tell golfers, oh, don't try to copy him. He's so very unorthodox. No, he's not unorthodox. Lee Trevino, remember Lee Trevino? Mm -hmm. His lower body movements, the best I ever saw. Take a look at him at the top of his backswing on the top right picture. Top right picture. Study his right leg. You see how firm the right leg holds? All the pressure's on the inside of the right leg. Go to the top right. Pressure's on the inside of the right leg. No lateral movement. Okay, great. Now when we're watching you on TV, we're going to notice if when you're swinging, if you stay in the posture, hips back. Or do your hips come out of the posture before we hit the okay? <coughs> First key to direction created by the posture is the shoulders. Remember how the shoulders are supposed to go? Down and under, not out and around. The next key to direction is the club face. 
So the shoulders and the hands going down the tow line gets the club going down the railroad track, okay? <clears throat> That's the first key to direction. The next key to direction is the club face. If the club face is open or closed, then the ball slices and hooks, so that's bad for direction. When should our hands roll over? You remember this from the other day, Rich? Take a look at this. <clears throat> our hands do not roll over until well after we've hit the ball. You see it? This one here, this is a really good one. They have the camera in the right spot. Usually the cameras are not directly in front of these people like this. Usually the good player, they put the camera over here and it comes in at an angle and it looks like they're rolling their wrists over when they hit the ball, it's not. Here's, here's a really good shot of it. Down here on the bottom left, on the very bottom left picture, this is Keegan Bradley of the Ryder Cup. On the bottom left, notice his wrist didn't break. See it? On the very bottom left, his wrist didn't break, but the ball's gone. So much for all this crazy instruction about releasing the club face at the ball, huh? Notice one more thing about this picture on the, on the bottom left. There's a look at him on the bottom. Notice that his entire upper body, his entire upper body is way behind the ball, just like this. You see it? Just notice on the bottom left, his upper body is way behind the ball. That's another big mistake that they, that they teach us. Oh, get all of your weight onto your left side before you hit the ball. They're not doing that. So that means all that golf instruction is wrong. The instruction has to be what's in the pictures. Okay. A while back I was in Dallas, Texas. I was doing some golf schools. There was a fellow in class, Pat Wheeler. Pat was a good player in college, never made it on the big tour. But he, he's, a, he's a golf nut. He hosts the golf radio program in the Dallas-Fort Worth area every weekend. And Pat was in class. He was, sitting, he was sitting right back here where Rich is sitting. And I showed what I'm about to show you. And Pat Wheeler almost falls off his chair. He says, Steve, you got to come on my radio program. So we do it a couple times a year still. It's a lot of fun. People call in, you know, ask questions like, what type of ball should I use, Steve? I don't know, try a round one. Just see if it's got some dimples on it, okay? We don't care about what kind of ball you use. You swing in the club right. <laughs> Anyways, I found this, I found this golf lesson in, in Golf Diet. It's one of the big lessons for that monthly subscription, okay? And at the time, this was the number one golf teacher in the world, showing everybody how to do it wrong. It was Hank Hain. His golf schools are in Dallas, Fort Worth. Okay. I want you to look at the lesson. The lesson is on, on here on the left, and then the good player is off to the right. Look at the lesson, and then look at the good player. The lesson's not even close. You know what you're about to see here in a minute? That if you're shooting high scores, you're doing exactly what's in the Hank Haney lesson. Okay? If you go to his golf school, what is it, fifteen hundred bucks or something? And then you get a private lesson with him, probably a couple thousand more. Twenty-nine bucks with Steve, priceless. <laughs> Actually, you're thirty-nine. <clears throat> well, that's what the video. Oh, <laughs> this class was twenty-nine. I charged you ten whole bucks for that DVD and the booklet. <laughs> I just need you to cover the cost of it, the cover and the printing and the book and all that. Yeah. I just want you to get started. Who went first today? You don't want to. Ed. Tom, you went first? Um, he says, Ed. Uh, oh, Ed went, no, you went last. Over there, getting wrong. Yeah, everybody else was here at one time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were tardy, Ed. Yeah, who got videoed first? Tom did? Okay, the picture we're going to use today is this one, because I videoed you from the back, behind you. That's what a leg player looks like from behind. You see how his hips are turned pretty good? I don't see that. But he didn't hit yet. <laughs> You're kidding. You mean we're not going to see any of you doing this? <laughs> of course not. You wouldn't be here. You told me you were here today. Yeah. Here you go, Tom. Hang on to that for a moment. Yeah. And we'll get to it. It's showtime. And then... Uh, 
And then what I'll do for you, everybody, with these videos of you tonight, I'll, I'll put them on the YouTube so you can watch them, okay? <laughs> but I won't do that to you. It could go viral. Yeah. Oh, gee. Right. Yes. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Are you ready, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you don't sound too excited. Oh, let me back that up a second. Hang on, I got rid of my little toggles. There we go. All right, now we're ready. Here we go. Okay, heading up to the top of the backswing. He has a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure in his right leg. A little bit. We need a lot. Okay, now he's going to get going in the downswing. Here he goes. Upper body's coming pretty quick. His lower body's going a little bit. I'm going to stop him right about here. We're going to look at a leg player at about the same place in the downswing. Now, just notice here. Oh, we're here. Just notice everybody likes hands free. See how the lower body's zipping through? But you see where the club is? Okay, so you see the lower body going and the club's way behind him, huh? Okay, now here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen to Tom. His right arm is about to crash his right side. You see his right arm's going to hit his side? Mm -hmm. And this is where the angles in his wrists are going to break right now. Now here comes the snap of the wrist. There they go. And now, wait a minute now. Hold on a second. If you look at that right there, and you look at this right here, yeah. well, that's the handy yeah. lesson. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Tom? Yeah. You got the hanky? You should yeah. open a golf school. Yeah. This guy did. <laughs> so Tom didn't have to pay for it. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Now you're going to see Tom's arms will pull his hips through. Now the hips are going to start yeah. turning. See? Now take a look at his feet, oh, knees, and hips. You see his feet, knees, and hips right now? Yeah. And then if you look at this picture, now the lower body now is starting to look like this. You see it? What's the yeah. difference? What's the difference? The club's on the other side. Yes. Yeah. So here's what that means, Tom. All we have to change is everything. <laughs> now you're going to see this better from this side. This is the side that really is going to show you the real big stuff. Okay, here we go. Heading to the top of the back swing. Here he goes. Top of the back. Arms are coming hard. Lower body's going a little. You notice the head lifting in the down swing? You see the head oh, yeah. jelly? That's him coming out of the posture. That's his posture breaking down. On TV, they'll say he came out of the shot. Yeah. What is his posture broke down before he hit it, see? Yeah. Especially the hips coming into the ball. Shoots the head up. So where do I get all my power from? Huh? Where do I get my power from? Your upper body. You're going to okay. get your power from the lower body if you learn this right. Okay. The power comes from the lower body. Well, I go back to, to you and say I respect my knees. All right, now take a look at his feet, knees, and hips right now. He's at the address position. You see it? <clears throat> Tell me when your feet, knees, and hips look like the guy in the picture. Probably well, never. No, they will. Mm -hmm. Give it a second. When should you come in the bowl? About right there. You see yeah. your feet, knees, and hips? Right now, that would be good if you hadn't hit it yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you hadn't hit the ball yet. Yeah. That's okay. That's good. Now, you're going to take that picture and pass it over to whoever comes up next. Joe. You ready, Joe? Yeah. Okay, how about Joe's feet? Are they a little narrow? Yeah. Can you pass that picture to Joe, Tom? I'll give it to Joe. Okay, here we go. Joe's feet are kind of narrow. Here he goes. Top of the backswing. His right leg breaks down in the backswing and slides lateral. Did you see it? He's losing all that tension in his lower body. Top of the backswing. Here he goes. Arms are coming really hard. His lower body's going a little bit. 
His right arm is about to crash the right side. You see it? Now he's stuck. The wrists are going to break right now. Here comes the snap of the wrist. You see the wrist break? Here, remember we looked at these the other day. Here's one. I'll show you the same thing, but we the other day I had it on one of those big boards. Big picture of Johnny Miller's. Okay, down here on the bottom right. You see the picture of Trevino from the magazine? You see how the club is horizontal to the ground? You see how the club is horizontal to the ground? His wrist didn't break, see? Just study, just notice the picture. The other day I let you know that if you were not in the posture and a leg player, you would never be able to do that. Because it's when the right arm crashes here that you'll see it. You see it? Okay, now. Now what you're going to see for Joe, <coughs> okay, you see right there, that's the Hank Haney right there, isn't it? See it? Yeah. The spanky. Now the arms are gonna now the arms are gonna pull his hips through. Now his hips are gonna turn. Here they go, there they go, too late. <laughs> uh oh. Now we've seen two of us uh, noticing a trend is forming. Yeah, it's <laughs> Okay, here we go now, Joe. Heading to the top of the back swing. Here he goes. Top of the back, arms are coming hard. You're going to see the head start lifting. You see the head coming up? Oh, yeah. That's him coming out of the posture while he's swinging. Identical to Tom, huh? Yeah. You see, right now he's at the address position. See, he get a lot of lessons, and you'll, read, you'll get lessons in the magazines like this and everything. All the golf experts show it wrong. I was taught, I got a lesson, and I read it in the magazines too. Get all of your weight onto your right side in the backswing. That's what I was taught. So you know what that meant to me? I got to get all my weight on my right leg. Okay? And then start the downswing by pulling down hard with the left hand. Mm -hmm. And then try to get everything to the address position when you're hitting the ball. Mm -hmm. and, and it's got to be exactly like addressed, and then mm -hmm. everything goes through together, and that is wrong. That'll make me shoot 100 plus. Tell me when your feet, knees, and hips look like the picture, Joe. About right there? About there. That yeah. would be good yeah. if you hadn't hit it yet. Yeah. With the oh. gloves, yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. So that's yeah. a good finish, right? No, no. <laughs> we don't care about the finish. We care about the before. <laughs> the finish, the swing doesn't matter. It's what you do before you hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. You ready, Julie? Okay, here we go. Your feet are almost wide enough. Top of the back swing. She has a little bit of pressure in her right leg. A little bit. We gotta eat a lot. Top of the back swing. Here she goes. Arms went first. Your lower body's going a little bit. You see it? It's really kind of lagging. Right arm hits the right side. Yeah. The wrists are gonna break right now. You see it? There's the Hank Haney. Hank Haney. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Hank Haney. I'll do the Hank Haney. Yeah. Best golf teacher. See, he was teaching Tiger how to swing the club yeah. like Julie. <laughs> No wonder why Tiger went in the tank. Yeah. <laughs> then the arms are going to pull her hips through. Now her hips are going to turn. There they go. Yeah. Now nobody's doing this on purpose. These are your habits that got formed. This is how you folded your arms, not on purpose. And then we hit a good shot doing it, and then we tried to repeat. Yeah. And then years pass. Years go by. And all the time, everybody could have played well the whole time if we just did the fundamentals. That's all it is. It's not hard. It's a little tedious, that's all. Just to go through the little learning part. Now, tell me when those feet, knees, and hips, right now you're right at the address position. You see it? Tell me when your feet, knees, hips look like the picture. About right there. See that right there? If she was just getting into the ball right now, she'd be out winning the ladies' club championship. In her club. Can you pass that picture over to Glenn? Here we go, Glenn. <laughs> Heading up to the top. There's a little pressure in your right leg, a little, but you see, notice your right knee goes lateral and all that. That's hurting your downswing. Your right leg is breaking down and hurting the downswing. Here we go. So arms are coming hard. Lower body's going a little crash right there. You see that? Can anybody figure out why is it? Uh, there are some golfers, maybe if they're brand new or something, where they might instinctively think, okay, i got to snap my wrist down here at the ball, and that's bad. But in the first class, I asked the group, hey, are we supposed to uncock the angles, or are we supposed to hold them? And, and, and every, a lot of us said, yeah, I know. you got to hold the angles, Steve. I know that. 
Can anybody figure out why we're not doing it? The club and the arm are coming, right? The club and the arms are coming, and the club is coming fast. And then the right arm crashes into the right side against the lower body that's not zipping through. And when the right arm gets stopped and that club is coming, why does that make the wrist break? The club does not stop. No. Only when our hips and thighs go first, but also stay where? Push back. Nothing gets in the way. You with me? We have room to swing now. I'm not going to hit you. This right hip was back over here or forward, or both. Yeah. Here's what we're supposed to do with the stick. <clears throat> we swing the butt of the club first on an imaginary line this way. And we really don't hit the ball until the hands are by the inside of the left thigh. And then our hands do not turn over until when? When do our hands roll over? After the hip. After we out here. Yeah. And what we're going to see here today is this. videoing golfers in the late 90s, I've only seen two. <laughs> Out of what, 60, 70,000 now? You know what was really weird? The two guys that I videoed that, that were really great that swung the club just like the pictures, both of them were the same age, 84. Oh. One of them was in Naples, Florida. He played in the 1959 British Open as an amateur. Yeah? And then the other guy was out of the villages. You know the villages in Florida? Yeah. He was a really, I had his yellow card. You know those yellow cards you filled out the other yeah. day? And on the back of it, he's 84. His last round of golf he shot, 77. 84 years old, shooting 77. Imagine. I asked him, how many times have you shot your age or better? He said, well, I've done it more than 900 times. They put his name in the paper every week then, because if you shoot your age or better, your name goes in the paper. So he's done all the time. Okay, here we go now, Glenn. Your arm's now going to pull your hips through. This is the Hank Haney right there, exactly. And now the arm's going to pull the hips. There they go. Top of the back swing. You're in the posture a little. Starting to break down. There he goes. Now, tell me when your feet, knees, and hips look like the picture. About right, right there. there. That yeah. would be good if you hadn't hit me. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you're all the same. Yeah. You know you're all the same? Yeah. You're clones. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know you're all the same. 50 million people do the same thing. I, said, no, I used to do it too. Yeah. I try to communicate with you. The good players do the same thing, and we're doing the same thing. Hey, you know what happens when 50 million people struggle with the exact same thing? Business is steady. Yes. <laughs> I admire you for being here, you know that? The class, you know the class you had last week, the first one? You know, not every, a lot of those people didn't come back. A lot of those people ran out of here like they had roller skates on. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. That guy's not getting my credit card. You know where they're at now, don't you? They're in the rain. Dick's Sporting Goods in the driving rain. Yes. Did it come in yet? You know, the one that will do it for me? Yes, the driver. The one that will do it for me. Uh, okay, here we go, Mike. As soon as you took the club back, your right knee went loud. Did you see his right knee? Yep. That's going to hurt him right now for the whole downswing now. It's going to be shot because of that breakdown in the back. Here he goes. Arms are coming hard. Lower body can only go a little. Crash. Snap. Arms are going to pull hips through. Now the hips turn. There they go. There they go. There they go. A thing of beauty. I got to pick on my special. He's a Marine. You know, as we said, he's not a was a one. He still is. 
top of that backswing. Here he goes. Arms are fast. Head's lifting. You see the head coming up? Oh, yeah. yeah. My now goal. Got to be able to see ball. <laughs> now the arms are going to pull his hips through. Now the hips turn. There you go, there, leather neck. Oh, you're a mess. <laughs> Sit back to now I'm in the water. You're a third phase moat knee cycle. <laughs> A quick question. Mike, sure. Mike, you seem to let go of the club. He did. You swung. Is that a normal? Or just no, not usually. Huh? Not, not usually. usually. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you, usually, usually. He does. Play. He plays with them. Yeah. 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 He won't. He wouldn't know if that's you his habit. That's his habit. He wouldn't know. Yeah. 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 Somebody. How do you fold your arms? Yeah, I don't know. I just do it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, habits are funny things. Once something gets recorded in the right brain, it just keeps repeating. Here we go. It's like a, like a computer chip. Here we go. But the difference between a brain and a computer is a computer has a delete button. <laughs> the brain, there's no delete. We have to retrain it. Everybody get it? <clears throat> Top of the back swing. Here we go. How about his feet, everybody? What do you say? Very narrow feet. Yep. That's going to hurt his power. Arms are fast. Right arm crash the right side. You see it? Yeah. He's got the yeah. angles a little, but uh oh, here comes the man. Crash. Yeah. Here comes the snap. There it goes. There's the hank. Hank. See this angle? I probably looked at this the other day. It was a different one, but on a big board. You see this right wrist cocked back? Yeah. yeah. That's the angle that holds the club face. See, there's the power. Kind of hold you yeah. snap it early. Now the arms are going to pull his hips through. Now the hips are turning. Then they go, then they go, then they go to the <laughs> Is anybody new to the game of golf? Is anybody kind of new? Oh, Liz, Joe, Glenn, you're new? About three years. Oh, that's not new. <coughs> you're new at all, right? Compared to everybody I golf with. Two years? Oh, so that's not new, no. How about you, Liz? You being Liz. No, I haven't golfed. You haven't even played. He took me out once, but... Okay. I got back Got in the red. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go, Carl. Heading to the top. Uh -huh. Arms are coming hard. Lower body's going a little. See the right arm hit his side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crash, snap. Now the arms are going to pull his hips through. There they go. That effort. The effort, yeah. the time, and the what money. Is this? <laughs> no, and then that's why gimmicks and gadgets. See, see here's the idea. If we haven't learned the posture yet, we've been taught it, we really haven't learned it yet. Though. If we haven't learned the posture, what that means is we're starting over. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's okay to start over. Yeah. See, if we're not in the posture, nothing's right anyway. No. So, you know, no gimmicks, gadgets, no you know, three-day golf, so any of that stuff is silly. Can you pass that picture back to Rich? Okay, here we go now. Heading to the top, Rich. There's a little pressure on your right leg, but not much. Arms are fast. Crash right there. You see the right arm hit the side? Snap the wrist. There they go. And now the arms are going to drag his hips through. Now the hips will turn. Is anybody surprised at this? Did you know you were all the same? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it's all the, you're all the same. All the same thing. All the same thing. <clears throat> Different bodies. It doesn't matter what your body is, it matters what's in here. Yeah, outcomes the same. Yeah, physical, you know there's a term muscle memory? There's no such thing as muscle memory. Well, if it is, it's still in here. Yeah. Memory is in here, not down yes. here. The muscles respond to what the brain tells it. Top of the back swing, here he goes. Right there, right here. Here. just get yeah. the ball, Rich. <clears throat> Can you pass that picture sure. up to Bill? Here we go, Bill. Heading to the top. Here he goes. Off of that back swing, there's a little pressure in your right leg. Not much. Arms are coming hard. Here comes the crash right there. Snap the wrist. There they go. Yeah. Now the arms will pull the hips through. Now the hips will turn. <laughs> see your faces. You should see your face. 
I know it sounds good. Like the conversations we get in here. You're part of a mellow group today. You should hear them all the time. Yeah. Steve, I, took, I spent thousands. Oh, how come they didn't show me any of this? I don't know. Go ask them. Yes. They took your money. <laughs> the guy in the villages had 14 sets of clubs. 14. Sets. Sets. His wife brought him in. He, she said, he's a nutcase. <laughs> he's got 14 sets of clubs. I said, I don't expect me to help him. <laughs> she said, well, can you help him? I said, sure, I can help him, but I don't have golf equipment. <laughs> if he had, if he, I had golf equipment, he'd be all over me. Yes. <laughs> but I have training, so he won't want anything to do with it. Watch. Sure enough. Yeah. <laughs> he was one of those. He was out of here fast. Yeah. He's into the pro shop. Because <laughs> that can't be the fix I Oh, yeah, I, I don't even know. I need another set of club. Yeah. He comes home with one more club, he's going out. Where are you going? Where are you okay, here we go, Bill. Head into the top. You see him stand up in the back yeah, swing? You see his head up. immediately yeah. came up. Come right out of the posture in the back swing. You know, see, when we stay in the posture, okay, the head will never come up. No. You with me? Yes. It's when the hips come forward, the head goes up. Here we go, head to the top of the back swing. Here we go. Tell me when feet, knees, hips look like picture. Right about there, be good. Notice too, when we're not in the posture, okay? Notice how the shoulders go. You see your shoulders go around? Yeah. Sit down and under, yeah. See when, yeah, when we stay in the posture, when we stay in the posture, the shoulders are going to stay out here. I found a beautiful picture of that one. They realize the seniors and so they don't do too. I found this picture. They just don't hit it as far as they used to. The seniors on TV. So they shorten the course and then they keep shooting the same score. But this was a picture of Tiger from the U.S. Open when he won by 15 strokes. And he's still in the posture long after the ball is hit. You see it? Yeah. See the shoulders oh, yeah. are still waving? Yeah, it's funny about it. We have been walking to the ball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, no yelling at your friend. You see it? <laughs> where'd it go? Yeah, where'd it go? Anybody got a get a beat on that one? Here we go. Yeah, you know, I've never had no one's asked me today, but a lot of times, a lot of times in the class. Yesterday, a couple of people down in Fort Myers, especially guys, are getting angry, you know, because they took a lot of lessons and no one ever showed them that. And then, and then I get asked, Steve, how come the golf pros are not teaching golf the way you're doing it? So I don't know, you got to ask that. Okay. No one has ever asked me, Steve, why don't you teach golf the way they're doing it? I've never been asked that. Okay. And if I was, the question would be, I don't teach the way they teach because I want you to learn it. Permanently. You ready, Liz? Now you're new to the game, right? And but you've played before? Well, I went out on the golf course once, but I got to drive after a few Okay. Holes. And when you played, you played with Rich? Mm -hmm. And did Rich help you? Rich was helping Liz. Yeah. <laughs> Now there's a guy on TV, he's very famous now, his name is Dr. Phil. Oh. Dr. Phil would look at Liz right now and say, how's that working for you? Yeah. <laughs> now, now wait a minute, Rich, I'm going to get you off the hook. I bet I know what she did. Liz, did you ask him for help? Tell the truth. I don't remember, it's been so long. I bet she did. <laughs> Probably. Yes, you did. Because when a woman asks a man for help, Rich knows I have to arrive on a stallion. And I have to have an answer. Because if I tell her I don't know, I'm in a lot of trouble. Exactly. <laughs> There's a place, that place in Florida, up in the villages. This was last December, a few months ago. I spent a lot of time there. There's 85,000 struggling golfers in one location. <laughs> they were from Brooklyn, New York. When I'm up there, this class is all couples mostly. And you know the women from Brooklyn are a little tough? Yeah. <laughs> she was Italian, I'm Italian. I understand. Yes. So I asked her, I said, do you play golf with your husband? She said, yes, Steve, we play with a couples group on Fridays. 
and then I play with the girls on Tuesday. Okay, well, that's you play twice a week. Terrific. Well, when, when you play with your husband, does he help you? She leaned over and said, Steve, five years ago, I taped his mouth shut. <laughs> Don't tell me. My you. husband knows when he and I get on that golf course, if he starts telling me what I'm supposed to do, my seven iron's going to go through his skull. <laughs> and she was ready to, she was going to kill him. <laughs> okay, here she goes. Heading to the top. You notice her head? We lost her head in the back. Yeah. Yeah, she's coming out of the posture right away. Now we're going to take it easy because Liz has them. She doesn't play. Right. Her arms went first. Her right side's in the way right there. You see it? Yeah. The wrists are breaking. Oh, and now the arms are going to pull the hips. I thought you don't play, Liz. You're well, you picked it up so fast. Good. You did it just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> It took some of these others 35 years to do what you yeah. just did. <laughs> I always thought it might be fun if I, if I ever got into the, in, into the law, in law business and became a lawyer and went down the divorce attorney road, I put a desk on the 18th green. <laughs> the ladies would come off, I'd say, ma'am, here's my card. <laughs> okay, here she goes. See her stand up right away in the back swing? Yeah. Top of the, her back swing. Her arms make the first move. And tell me when your feet, knees, and hips right about there would be good if you were about yes, to hit the if ball. You were just about to hit Just it. like everybody. You just haven't gotten good at it yet. <laughs> You're good at that. You, re you ready, Althea? Yes. Althea, the you're, you're here with Tom. You know the drill. Yeah. <laughs> Look how crunched I look. And you notice how your feet are kind of narrow. Here yeah. we go. Top of the back swing. Here she goes. Arms went first. Crash right there. Oh, you held the angle a little longer. Actually, it might have got stuck on the mat. Now the arms are going to pull her hips through. Now the hips are going to turn. There they go, there they go, there they go. You're going to see this better from the other side. This is the side that really shows you everything. <clears throat> Top of that back swing, here she goes. Arms are coming hard. Tell me when the feet, knees, and hips look something like the picture are pretty close. Right there. She's above the hip. <laughs> Can you pass that picture <laughs> over to Joanne? Joanne, you here with Rich? Rich. <laughs> Do you have a coach? <laughs> Does he help you? He just tries, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To. He's a man for crying out loud. Men are good helpers. <laughs> right? If they see something's wrong, they try to fix it. That's yes. right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Heading to the top. Head's yeah. coming up in the backswing. You see that? Yeah. So she came out of the posture in the backswing. Arms are coming fast. Crash right there. Wrist break. And now the arms are going to pull the hips through. Have you ever had a golf lesson, maybe, and they told you your head's coming up? You ever got that one thrown at you? Anybody ever told you your head's? Sure. sure. Yeah, let me ask you, how far up can a head go? Does it come off? <laughs> <laughs> I used to get a lesson every Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock from the 1st Marine Division Golf Pro. He was a nice guy. His name was Dave Bray. He was a really good player. He was one of the better so-called pros in California, at least playing-wise. And he had a job at the base, and it's kind of a nice job if you can be a head pro at a base. He was not a Marine, he was a PGA guy. Anyway. But the deal was, if we wanted golf lessons, he had to give enlisted Marines, because we didn't have any money, he had to give us golf lessons for 10 bucks. And our greens fees were seven, five, seven, six, seven bucks. So we could play for cheap and get our lessons for cheap. And then the base special services, you know, their slush fund, your tax dollars, paid them, paid them the rest. So I would play golf on Saturday mornings awful. I'd shoot a million like always. And then in the afternoon, I'd get my lesson with Dave. And it would kind of go like this. 
the first thing he would do was come out and say, Steve, hit a few balls first so that I can see how you've been doing since last week. And I've noticed you've been here at the range practicing every day this week, hitting balls, so you should be improving. Go ahead. Let's see how you've been doing. Go ahead. <laughs> that one went to the right. Try to straighten it out. <laughs> Go ahead, do another one. Now, try to put one in between those last two. <laughs> Go ahead, do another one. <laughs> Skyball. Yeah. You know what's coming next, don't you? The worm burner. Yeah. <laughs> and after five minutes of this, Dave comes up with, I see something wrong. You're kidding. I'm dying over here. Would you hurry up and tell me what's wrong so I can fix it? He said, well, Steve, I noticed in your backswing, and then more in the downswing, your head is coming up. Oh. My head is coming up. That's what's doing this. Everything is my head is coming up. And my head comes up, it's all the mess, Right? It's because my head is coming up again all the time. It's always my head is coming up. It's my head is coming up. My head is coming up. My head is coming up. What do I do? He said, keep your head still. I'm trying. He said, try harder. And all the while I'm swinging, I'm coming out of the posture, you know, and all that. And said, anyway, he didn't know that. You know, he didn't know my problem. He didn't know my problems. He never had my problems. Right. How's he supposed to know? Mm -hmm. And the golf pro, we got to get him off the hook because a golf pro's job is not to make us play better. You know what the golf pro has to do? Run the golf course. They have a golf course to take care of, not our golf game. They got to make sure the tee times are running and the greens are mowed and the carts are working. And the pro shop has gloves and balls and the hot dogs are going and everything. Okay, here we go now, Joanne. And you're new to the game, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Top of the back swing. Here she goes. Arms went first. Tell me when your feet, knees, and hips look like the picture. They never do. Yeah, they will. Right, right about there. That'd right be good there. if you were just Let about to hit the ball. She had so her hip with her. Uh... She had a little bit of space. She got yeah. it up top. That's okay, Joanne. He did it to you. <laughs> okay, here comes Rich. Here we go, Rich. How about his feet, everybody? A little narrow. Okay, here he goes. Heading to the top. Top of the back swing. Arms are coming hard. Lower body's going a little. There's the crash. Wrists are going to start to snap. There they go. Now the arms are going to pull the hips through. Now the hips will turn. Here they come. There they go. There they go. Hmm. You'll see it better from this side. Top of the back swing, here it goes. Arms are coming fast. Right arm hits right above his right elbow, onto his side. Tell me when feet, knees, hips look like picture. There. Right there is good if he's about to hit the ball. What I did notice, his head stayed. Stay in the posture a little stayed, more. The head stayed in the same <clears throat> position. He's a little bit in the posture, a little bit. Can you pass that picture to Jim? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, Jim. For the back swing. Here he goes. Wrist break. This is the hand candy lesson. Now the arms are going to pull his hips. Now the hips will turn. There they go. You know, if you can't get the club back all the way, that's okay. Yeah. You know, when I played with that, when I was 29 years old, and I played with the 74 year old man who was crippled, he was losing the green wire body full of shrapnel. It was a mess. But he could only get his club, you know, halfway back, not even. You know? And he hit the ball really long and straight. You know? Okay, 
heading up to the top. Here we go, Jim. Use that picture. Tell me when your feet, knees, and hips look like the guy in the picture. Or did that ever? Yeah, they will. Right about now. You see it? Yeah. yeah. Take a look. At that's good right there if you're about to hit. Yeah. See, everybody's doing it. It's just backwards. It's backwards. Yeah, everybody's got it backwards. <coughs> Has anybody been on my website already? Has anybody been? Oh, when we finish today, for those that want to continue, we're going to be doing lessons online for a reason. Education's going online more and more. It's the better mousetrap. People are going faster, getting better grades. And, you know, also, it's much less expensive uh, for all education. But I'll make you a promise. My, all my students that are online with me, if they want to, they don't have to do this, but they can. Anytime they want, they can send me a video of themselves, and I'll check it for them. Like the teacher going to grade your quiz. Sure. If you ever send me a video of yourself, I'm going to let you know if there's something wrong, you will know about it. And I am never going to be concerned with hurting your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's something going on in schools right now. It's kind of because I'm into training and learning and all this kind of stuff. That's my thing. Is, uh, you know, in a lot of schools now, where the kids aren't really they're not getting it. You know, four plus four used to be eight, right? Still eight, but it doesn't have to be anymore. Four, four plus four is ten, if you like, and there's nothing wrong. Yeah, uh, a couple weeks ago we had a, a couple of retired school teachers from Canada, from Winnipeg, and they, a school teacher in Winnipeg, Canada, just got fired for giving a kid an F. The kid deserved the F, and then they gave the kid the F, and the teacher got canned. Isn't that America. that's sad? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's places now a teacher is prohibited from grading a quiz with a red pen. If they use a red pen, a red X will destroy a kid for life. <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't know there was any other color. Because yeah. <laughs> you know what red meant? Red was good. It you was need good. to fix this. Exactly. You know? Yeah. yeah. My mother's a wise woman. My mother's from South Boston. You know what my mother said to me? I could have gone down the wrong track. I was 10 years old. She sat me down. She said, I'm going to tell you this one time, mister. Uh-oh. <laughs> she said, you better be careful who you hang with. Because if you hang around with the wrong people, do you know you're going to be just like them? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <See it? laughs> Here we go, Keith. <laughs> Here we go, Keith. Head to the top. Notice the right knee in the back swing. Do you see it? Yeah. That's really going to hurt him now. Because it went lateral. Arms are fast. Here comes the crash right there. You see it really good on this one. Because he had, yeah, got on the dark. The lighting hit it just right. Snap the wrist. You see that one? You can see it really good on here because of the way the light is hitting it. Against the dark, dark pain. Now the arms are going to pull his hips through. Now the hips are turning. There they go. A lot of times in the summer, I get coaches in here. You know, they're coaching kids in little league and stuff. Or I always ask them, "Hey, how come you guys are giving kids trophies for losing? <laughs> How's that help that kid who lost?" My son's a swimmer. He's not the best kid on the team. He doesn't have to. He's got to try. And he called me. He was ten. He said, Dad, I did the 200 breaststroke, you know, the breaststroke in the county meet. So I asked him, how would you do, Joe? He said, well, uh, I'm the silver medalist. I said, wow, silver medal. And then, and then, he, started, then he started bragging, huh. telling me how great he was and everything. I couldn't take it after five minutes. I said, all right, enough. I want to know something. How many kids were in this race of yours? Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was withholding vital information. <laughs> I said, hey, buddy, <laughs> you know what we used to call that last place, in case you're wondering. Yeah. <laughs> if that other kid didn't show up, you got the gold, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, heading to the top. Arms first. See the head coming up right now? See yeah, it? Coming see right it? out of the pocket. Yeah. Not on purpose. That's just a habit. Yeah. Don't even know he's doing it. That's right. Didn't even know what the red X was on the quiz. Mm -hmm. Now the arm's going to pull the hips through. There they go, right there. That's good yeah. if he's about there. 
That's all. I look just like everybody else. See, we yeah. also try to practice more difficult than the game. Remember like in your thing I told you the other day, you had this on your video too, your DVD when you went home? Putting at a dime. You know, putting at a dime. Yeah. That's just one little thing that's very difficult to do that we try to do. Instead of dumbing down, we smarten up. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll make us better. You might notice in baseball, you know in baseball, mm -hmm. They used to, if you took an old a roster from one of the major league teams from years ago, you know you would not find a foreign-born player. You might find one, but now we're loaded. All from South America, Dominican Republic, Panama, Central America, Venezuela, they're all coming up from South America. Do you know what we did to our kids in baseball? It's kind of sad. We made them play a game called T-ball. You know what T-ball is? Baseball made easy, isn't it? The kid doesn't have to hit a pitch. Uh-oh. Right. There's no T-ball in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> you know where our baseball players used to come from mostly? The inner cities and the ethnic neighborhoods. With a little game called stickball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stickball is what made Joe DiMaggio Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. Not baseball. In fact, Joe DiMaggio in San Francisco I read a, he used to hit bottle tops, you know, a, the, the bottle top? They'd throw yeah. a bottle top, and when you throw a bottle top, they curve like this. Yeah. They go through. He could hit one with a stick. Yeah. Then they gave him a baseball bat and a baseball. He said, this is like hitting a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> this is easy. You should see what I do in San Francisco. This is nothing. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's the idea. <clears throat> Heading to the top. Ed, you went last. You're our last hope. <laughs> Don't blow it, Ed. You're our last chance. Top of the backswing. He has a little more tension in yes. his right leg. Yes, more turn. He's got a little bit, but he's got pressure, a little bit of pressure in his right leg. We wouldn't yeah. get more than that, but at least he has a little bit. Yeah. Top of the backswing. Here he goes. Arms and hips went almost at the same time. Right there's the crash. He held the angle a hair longer. Snap the wrist there, and now the arms are going to pull the hips. Up. Now the hips are really going to finish. There they go. Got a little bit of it. Yeah. Arm and leg play. You'll see it better from this side. In. <coughs> okay, here he goes. Top of the back swing. Arms are coming hard. Oh, the head just lifted. Halfway down on the down swing. Yeah. Just started coming up. Yeah. See it coming out of the posture early. <clears throat> now the arms are going to really pull the hip. There they go. Right about in here. It'd be good if you're about to hit the ball. Yeah. Well, I glove didn't hit the mat that swing. You got up. You stood up. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody's in good shape. But once in a while, what can get in the way of somebody's progress, especially for men? But I think all the guys are in okay. Something didn't happen, but it happens in here a lot. And what can get in the way of a man's progress because males are males, is pride and ego. And uh, something didn't happen today, which was good. It happened again yesterday down in Fort Myers. You know when we're doing the posture? Often as a gentleman in class, we're doing the posture, and you know, he doesn't like it. It's uncomfortable. I get called off to the side. Steve, can I have a word with you, please? Yes, can I help you? Uh, yeah, look, I don't really want to change my swing right now. I just want you to work with the one I got. <laughs> You want me to do what? I'm not a magician doing magic tricks. If nothing changes, nothing changes. Wait till you see yourself on TV when you get a quiz back full of red X's. Then you decide what you want to do with it. It's your quiz, it's your game. But don't come crying to me five years from now that you haven't changed because you didn't want to. You know the first session you had the other day, that first class? Next week on Monday, I'm going to have the first one down in Naples, and we'll have a pretty good crowd down there. And one guy, as it happens every week, all the time, one gentleman will arrive around 8 o'clock in the morning. The class is at 10, and I'm going to be in the room working, setting up all the chairs and tables and everything, and working with a pair of blue jeans and a t-shirt. And he'll stick his head through the door and yell at me across the room, hey, you over there, the guy setting up chairs. Mm -hmm. Yes, can I help you? Uh, yeah, uh, I need you to direct me so that I can speak to somebody that might know about this golf deal they're having here. Well, I'm familiar with the golf deal. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you coming? <laughs> I'm ready for him. 
<clears throat> I don't know if I'm coming to this. I read this in the newspaper. I might come, maybe I doubt it. I have a lot of questions that will need to be handled first. A lot of questions. Fellow, this thing is 14 bucks today. Let's take it easy on your list of questions. Well, I want to know if this thing is for beginners, because if this is for beginners, I'm not coming. Well, I don't know if it's for beginners or not. How long have you been playing golf? Oh, I've been playing this game now for 30 years, okay? I've been to three of the very finest golf schools in America, and they were not 14 bucks. I belong to the country club, and I have some new Callaways. You want to see them? Mm -hmm. What kind of scores do you shoot after 30 years, three golf schools, Palmetto Country Club, and their brand new Callaways? My scores? <laughs> My scores. This is a Monday. He played Sunday. My scores vary. <laughs> usually I shoot mid to upper 80s, usually. Do you know what that means? Yeah. Well, it's it's <laughs> he broke 90 once in the last two years. That's all he's remembering is that one. But do you know what he's forgetting about the day he broke 90? He cheated. <laughs> <laughs> he did a mulligan and another mulligan. Doesn't put him in the hole. Asked his friend to give me a six. Did any of the ladies play in a women's group? <laughs> you know the women don't cheat? Fellas, you want to have a bad day? Play with them. Your score's going up. <laughs> See, if, if I'm playing with Bill, and Bill has about a three-foot putt, it's very likely I'll tell him, okay, you can pick it up. Do you know why I give Bill a three-foot putt? I want one in the next year. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think the women are kind to each other? Oh, no. The ball is on the lip of the cup. Mark it and wait your turn. Yes. <laughs> oh, they're tough. Yeah. That's why it takes you five hours of practice. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it takes five hours. All right. I'm going to go over the lesson plan board first. Then we're going to look at some things on TV, okay? Now, the first lesson is the posture for those that continue after today online. The first, does everybody have 10 or 15 minutes you can give up? Okay. The first lesson is the posture. Based on our golf game now, if we master the posture, and that's all we ever did, will we improve a little? Yeah. After one week of the posture, seven days, we will now add one more fundamental, the right leg to the back swing. If you're a lefty, it's the other side. What are we still doing in week two? <coughs> posture posture. Correct. The posture is still being reviewed. Everything is reviewed for life anyway. Then we're going to add the left leg in the backswing. Position of the hips in the backswing, grip pressure relaxed at the top of the backswing. We're going to do those five lessons before we touch the downswing. The leg drills to the backswing have the highest priorities of all physical movements. <coughs> Here's why. Look at the picture on the left, and you'll notice this pressure on the inside of the right leg. You see it? Then you go to the picture on the right, and what do you notice happening with the lower body? What's it doing? It's leading. If the student does not learn this on the left first, will the picture on the right ever appear? It's impossible. Okay. Now, with each one of these individual lessons, there are two instructional videos that come with each one lesson. The first is the introduction or the instruction to the lesson. That's where I do the teaching. So I'm going to show you what we'll be learning. Then in the second video, you and I then will practice together for about one and a half minutes for a reason. After a minute and a half, I'll then tell you, unless you need to play this again, get to your mirror quick, because who has to take over? Yes. And that's when the learning begins. So first I'm doing it, then you and I do it together, then you do it alone. When we start the leg movements in the backswing, if you're right-handed, it'll be the right leg and she'll be on the other side. We've done the posture for a week. It's feeling comfortable. We're going to hold the right foot and the right knee right here. And for the next full week, all we're going to do is turn the right hip around behind it. You with me? Creating pressure on the inside of the right leg. And we're going to just keep doing this movement over and over and over. And over. Then we're going to add left hip, left knee, left foot, so that in a few weeks our lower body is going to look about like this at the top of the back. As you're going through the lesson plan, you don't have to do this, but you can. If you want to send me videos of yourself once in a while, I'll check them for you. If you do that, 
Video yourself exactly the way I videoed you today. So if Joanne was a 